A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls Mars. I'm cooking up some food over here. I've already eaten so many of these dried slices over here. My food is basically 20. And I ate the last meat we had. I think I made some grilled meat. And then we also went and ate a ton of dried oranges. Um, it's basically 30 food right here. This gives you 48, so we'll keep that on us for now. Water. Technically, we don't need to keep food and drink on us. We just have to every now and then stop by the base of here. We know now already not to leave too much outside because then we lose everything again. We still need to kill 20 zombies for Razor's quest, thinning the horde. Or 17 more. And then also, what I'm intending to do is we're going to go for this tier 1 clear. We're going to go and see what that was again. I don't know why I said car loot. I must have left something behind. Oh, car loot. Is that where I left loot in the car? But didn't I already go back for that? Um, Yeah, we have to see that. Well, I'm going to go for the dog days of here. And then I want to go for that treasure map too. Apparently, there's, uh, there's also a lot of blueberries by the snow area over here. You don't even have to go all the way into the snow. So if I can get that, we can make some ink for ourselves. Because I still need the chem station, unfortunately. We need a lot of... Since we don't have the chem station, we have to use the fire. So it's even more. But if I can make myself a chem station, what do we need for that again? It's locked under yay science or the schematic. Ah, uh, damn. If we can get enough coins from questing, we can just buy a chem station. Uh, or, the, or we just have to find a place that actually is a working chem station, which is just as rare. Okay, it seems it's daytime now. The fact that we're actually getting normal... Okay, that's decaying. I was going to say normal uh, radiated zombies. That's insane. I hadn't had a wandering horde yet, but now we do know that they are still working. Now, have to be careful just in case we hear a ton of footsteps coming closer. Okay, so we are going to go first to the south of here. I'm really hoping we don't get overrun with like a feral horde or something. At least we do have cobble on us, but I want to use this cobble for doing scout quests. We want to be able to stack up and away and then just do the scout quest that way. I'm really hoping these aren't infested. Apparently infested is feral. Oh, you felt that, right? Apparently when they start to like that, uh, they spawn in. I can actually check now just to make sure that is my... Oh, where's my own minibike? I left my minibike behind. Hey, but yeah, that starts just now. Usually that is when a wandering horde spawns in. I really don't want to watch that window because I want to be surprised when they hit. But with usually when that uh, lag hits like that, it is a wandering horde. I mean, you can't help but prepare for a horde. I completely forgot that the bike over here. I was running just now. That's so dumb. If we loot stuff, we want to drop it on the bike. So it's easier for us to go and just loot it to our heart's content. If we were to die, at least we'd have stuff on the bike and didn't lose everything. Okay, BNG 24 hours. Oh, buy and go. Hmm, that's also a nice uh, quest to do. Okay, we have to be careful because we are getting quite a few ferals and stuff. And the ferals are kind of kicking my butt at the moment, so we have to be really, really careful. We do have this M4A1 as like an oh no weapon. I really want to save the ammo. We only have these 20 shots in the gun left, and it's only there to really help me in a crisis. Okay, so we're just going to go and drop all this. Let's do this. Da, 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 dum. Come on. I almost forgot, in Darkness Falls, you don't get arrows back. I wonder if it's possible to have zombies in the roof as well. That roof is so flat, uh, if, they, uh, if they are in there, then good for them. Good on them for actually fooling me. We have to be able to get on top of this stuff if a wandering horde was to show up. I just every now and then gonna turn my glasses or uh, my, my money helmet off. You see my brain is a little bit tired. <laughs> Seems to be a dot on that side and we have a dot on that side. I actually wanna melee her. Though she's healing too fast. Damn, I'm going to have to make way more arrows, it seems. Where's this one?
Is she on top of the car? Is she inside? Is she downstairs? She or he? I don't think any see anything downstairs. So it's probably gonna be up here somewhere. Damn it! I hate it when this stuff like that happens. At least I can sneak really, really fast because of the skills we have. But I really want to unlock the hunter class so we can actually move even faster, stealth even more. Oh, hello. So it was a zombie. It's just downstairs. Okay, can't hit because they're on top of the barrel. If I explode the barrel, we have problems. Okay, turn back the lights on. We have to make sure that if the zombies do see us, just turn the light back on. I mean, they've already seen us, so we can just as well give ourselves some light. I want to be careful, though, not to make too much noise right now. Now the stutter just now, so we have to be careful of a wandering horde. I really like the feature in Ravenhurst, where you can rip boards off of uh, things. So then you can use a barricade, barricade that you ripped off the thing. You can then go and reuse. And uh, give it like five minutes worth of fuel out of it. That's awesome. He seems to be the only dot of here. I don't see anything over here. I should probably be carrying a, a wrench with me as well, so we can wrench wheels and tires and stuff. I need to be able to pick up even more wheels, and then later perhaps even make another vehicle. I think I used up all my wheels to- no, I think we had more, didn't we? It feels like I used up all my wheels to be able to make the current vehicle, but I don't think that's the case. I'm busy using up all my stamina as well, doing power attacks and stuff, which I should probably not be doing right now. Big axes, okay. Cold resist, heat resist. We are going to go to a cold biome. I want to go open trade routes over there as well. So we just quickly go in. I put a point that we had, uh, an extra point because we leveled up, into survive over here. And it helps against heat and cold. Just in case we want to go to a really cold biome, like for example the snow. And just open trade routes for the trade over there. Okay, so we have this tough lady over here. We have that spider over there. Just see if we can't get the spider first. There's still a line over there. Someone's behind over here. I don't know if they're behind there or yeah. But I didn't see them moving over, so they must be behind that thing over there. We've died a few th times because of this feral thug, so I want to be careful. I actually wanted to put my point into... Oh, there he is. I wanted to put my point into... Um, health nut. So if we die again, we have that point there. But I really... I shouldn't be preparing for the worst case scenario. That's why I went, rather went for the cold, because I know we have to open trade routes in the cold anyways. Yeah, okay, come on. Give me some 762 ammo. What's so hard about that? Every single one of these boxes so far, just junk in it. Damn, that was unlucky just now. Okay, the Winchester rifle is good. <laughs> I didn't realize we got I picked that up. But everything else over here is crap. Um, I can keep it level 21, so for now we can scrap all of these. We have a level 21 actual pick. Uh, I'll keep one because there is a quest that's going to say gather one of those picks. So instead of then having to craft another one, we have one that we can just pick up. Yeah, that vehicle over there, I need to try and wrench. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, we need to put the wrench on us. But this vehicle over here, I just wanted to loot just now. To see if I can put everything on my mini bike. If I can, we're going to keep on going to the next objective. This. I want to make sure I'm only putting on what we really, 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 really need to put on right now. If I were to die, I don't mind about that stuff, but I do mind about stuff like this. We have to put the best stuff on the bike. We don't want to have the crap on the bike when we die. We're like, oh no, I lost everything good. What if I shouldn't do the dog days first and then go back for the car loot? With that car loot, I think we already did that BI, so we should be able to easily just go and grab stuff. See, if I can grab all the tomatoes that we come across and also go and get some blueberries, we might be able to do that um, next class. That would be amazing if I can unlock the Hunter Claws. Okay. I almost forgot about this police vehicle over here. 
the 762762. Damn, why is that so rare? This gives us 30 water and 2 wellness, so we'll take that. This is the house where we died, so we never went back for this vehicle over here. Did I see... And there's another tomato plant over there. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them. But if we come across a place that has them, we have to grab them. If I have enough tomato plants and enough blueberries and grass, we can actually go and make ourselves some ink. And then we can unlock the next class. I actually want to go either for security so we can take a hit. Or I want to go for a hunter so we can do the stealth. Especially now, if we can do more stealth damage to them, it's going to be insane. Okay, now this is real good luck. It's dog days are over, but it's actually on a really good spot. Get the tomatoes over here. All we have to do is start that. Run over here. No, I don't even have to use the cobble. Come on. Come on, doggies. Do that. Do that. All of them on fire. Now they have to break down the tree to get to me. Whoopsie. They're actually going for the frames over there. Oh, okay. I'll have to kill the one dog at least. And now that's free meat and uh, leather over here. Oh, did one of the dogs spawn in? Oh, that's bad. Damn, this magnum is weak. It's super, super loud, but it's so weak. Okay, uh, we could stand next to the wall over here and see if we can do see the dude over the wall. The problem, however, right now is the moment I do that, I know there's landmines over here. Perhaps do this. I'm less likely to step on a landmine. Oh, hello. There's a few of you guys over here. Now, where are you going now? I can't afford for them to somehow break through of here, so I'll rather take them down first. Oh, wow. I just realized the quest wasn't done. Even after all the dogs we killed, only now does it count as done. Do we have enough crossbow bolts? Too high. Come on, come back. There you go. I need to go and skin these dogs before they disappear as well. You idiot. It's going to take a while for him to break through over there. There's a chicken right there. If I can kill the chicken and quickly get the meat and the feathers from it, that'd be awesome. Come on, stand still. As long as there's no zombie over there, because I still have to quickly go and skin over here. I'll keep these frames here until I have to go. Especially since I'm out in the open like this. Ever wondering what comes through right now. Ooh, look how long it's going to take. Ever wondering what comes through, at least I'm ready for them. That took forever. Damn. The chicken must have already despawned by now. I'm also going to go check just in case because I need the feathers anyways. Damn, that took forever. Oh, it's still here. Yes, 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 yes. I do need to be careful because, like I said, there are landmines around this place. So it's a super dangerous POI to be next to. Also, have to be careful of the footballers because if we uh, find them, they're going to be running at us like nightmare speed. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have anything to repair that with, so we're just going to have to go. Just do this. Boom. Okay, so now what we need to do is go for that treasure map. I'm thinking... I see... That, is that blueberries over there? I think that's what he meant about you don't even have to go in the snow biome. You just have to be careful of mountain lions and stuff. If I can get a ton of this, that will be really, really helpful right now. Only problem is, do you know how much of that we're going to need just for our ink? I mean, if I can get the first class, I think I should go for Yay Science. Because one, it's going to unlock the crowbar. And two, I will be able to get the chem station under one of its skills. Once we have the chem station, making the next classes will be a lot easier... So that way we're actually paying for the next one already. I really want to get the sneak damage though uh, from the hunter class, but the, if it's no way around it, there's no way around it. We have to go for the science class first. Especially with how expensive it is uh, going to be to make that very first one. Oh, I think we're right next to a racetrack. If that is the case, we'll be able to get scrap polymers like crazy. Obviously it's going to be super, super dangerous, but if we can get those scrap polymers, damn. I'm actually getting chills just thinking about it. You need scrap polymers to be able to make um, 
quail weapons and quail ammo and stuff. So we just have to come over here, just break all the tires because the, uh, the whole racetrack is riddled with tires. Oh, there's thunder outside. Please, PC, be okay. Yeah, th there's actually wheels. You can't see it right now, but there's wheels on every single little wall and ramp and stuff over here. So hopefully that's going to help us a lot in the future. I just need to remember that it is actually here on the map. Oh, it's not spawning in, though. There's supposed to be wheels on every single one of these over here, but I don't see the wheels. Unless this is a different POI that just looks very similar, which would suck. Is that the zoo? That's a dangerous POI. Okay, so we might have a little bit of a problem over here. Since this is a treasure, there should be no zombie spawning in from the circle shrinking. But that's not a problem right now, that is. Look how fast that thing is flying. It just needs to come for us. I'm going to try and get underground as soon as possible and just have the circle shrink on me. And then... And be careful of wandering hordes and stuff. Imagine as I jump like this, I see a wandering horde. How long is it going to take me to dig over here? Two, three, four for the top block. One, two. So close. Uh, I think if we just keep doing this now, we should be able to get that um, last damage thing done. If I can get to a point where I can three shot normal dirt like this, treasures will be way easier and better to do. I'm going to go down as much as possible before starting to dig. And I need to make sure if a wandering wood comes right now, we have a problem. Because you can't look through blocks anymore like you used to be able to. You used to poke your head through the block when you're going to one by one. And you could, uh, by doing this, throw like molotovs through the world and stuff. Now if a wandering wood comes, you remember they are way more aggro. They'll be able to fall in the spit with us. I might have to set myself alight just trying to set them alight. Okay. So I found out rather easily. We just dug down, went over here, and then I saw the thing starting to make a hole. I was like, yes, awesome. Okay, we don't have any points for Lucky Ludo or anything. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. This over here is going to help. Although, if I get into a dangerous situation right now, I'm going to have to uh, pray and spray. Okay, I'm going to go for this car loot and see what that is and go back up. That's the first proper like quest we've been able to do in a while. Also, the Thunder Horde, it says talk to Trader. So I don't think I have to talk to Razor to hand this in. So we can hand in all three quests at our trader for now. But then I'll have to go back up because it's going to send us to clear a uh, POI out. I need more blueberries though, so we'll have to check over here on the ridge. I need a flat sur a surface that doesn't go up immediately. I think that's going to help us way more at the moment. But yeah, we got 400 clay. I thought we are going to have to get way more clay. But nope. I want to do this to get out. There's a dude behind us. He doesn't seem feral. Nope, he's not. Okay. We actually managed to make it out of here. Nice. I have to be careful because the other thing might still be in the uh, sky over here somewhere. And now that we know this magnum sucks, we have to be even more careful. Every time I see some tomatoes, though, I need to probably stop for it because that's going to be really important for red ink. Or just for the part of the ink. Uh, yeah, it's, there's no red ink, yellow ink. I'm, I'm thinking about dyes right now. But it's one of the most important ingredients. Tomatoes, blueberries, and grass. Um, and even coffee. If you can get that combo, it's a super, super cheap combo. Pussy Waters Public Pool. Yeah, that's a dangerous POI. Some of these POIs are definitely combo pack POIs that I haven't seen in a really long time. What was that sound just now? It sounded like I stepped on a uh, landmine. It was actually freaky. I thought I just accidentally stepped on a landmine. But yeah, a lot of these are not pep your eyes, they're combo pack your eyes. So that's awesome. We haven't seen some of these in a really, really long time. Okay, I need to do this. 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 Nice, thank you. We have to be careful because in Darkness Falls, as you can see, there are wolves just walking the streets. This used to be a 7 SRI thing, and then for some reason they removed it. Now if you really want a wolf, you have to go to like the snow biome or... Get lucky if you're lucky in the forest biome. Where did that chicken go just now? That's a campsite, so I don't want to get too close to there. I am getting encumbered right now, so I should probably stop looting the stuff. At least now in the latest alphas, the, the trash bags despawn when you loot them. So it tells you what you have and haven't looted uh, that way already. Unfortunately, it doesn't do the same for mailboxes, imagine. I'm hoping a wandering horde hits, only because I want to alert back to the base and fight it. I need to definitely remember to remove markers and stuff if I have already grabbed stuff. Yep. 
We dropped stuff over here. We came back. There was a wandering horse that we had to run away. We left the stuff. And yeah, we already came back for it. It's a prime example of wasting time going out of your way, finding something that your AI is just not there. You're not going to find it. I also need to keep an eye open. I keep passing big moms and uh, hazmat dudes. For those who don't know, in Darkness Falls, uh, only a few zombies can do it, but there are uh, multiple zombies that can vomit and explode like cops. Tourist, big mom, hazmat, mutated, soldier, and I think there's another one that I keep missing. But yeah, basically you have to be really, really careful of those. Because they can vomit at you just like a cop. They can kill you in one shot with this insane difficulty. And they can explode. And they're the only ones that can be flame flowing uh, demons. All zombies can be demons, but only them can uh, actually throw fireballs. Ooh, the trailer is right there, and I actually haven't used this PR in a long time as a base. I think when I visit over here, I need to park my bike in like the getaway position, like so. So we come through there, we'll come through there, we have park pointing outwards, so that if something attacks, we are ready. Great job! Pistol. I need honey. We don't do we don't have double reward. No, we do have double rewards. We need honey and we have pistols. Let's go for water. Although if we can get more skills, the sooner we can get more classes, the better. Kill some zombie dogs. Oh, that one was for the other dude just now. Pump shotgun, yes. So we handed razors in first. Nice. Lady killer tier three. Me? These are all gonna be feral. I think I'll use the shotgun as a backup weapon. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I need to grab more of these. Do this, move it four. But yeah, if I can use the shotgun as a backup weapon, like if I if I die and I lose this, at least we have the shotgun. Uh, if I keep that on me now and I die, oh, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Mods go in over there, ammo goes in over there, and we're going to sell this. Resources, I constantly have to make sure we're making some cobble over here. And then before we leave, we have to make sure we make even more of these cobble blocks. Take me with those cobble blocks, I can just keep building over here. I want to finish this whole section. And I still want to finish over here where the cops can still see through. If it was up to me, I'd drop this whole roof over here and then just build my stuff on top. So then basically, I'm going to be taking over her place instead of like going for Anna or Razor or something. The thing is, Razor's too far away from the trader, but his compound has all the workstations. Wait, does he have a chem station? I need to go check. If he has a chem station, oh, we need to go f get the other last quest anyway, so I'm going to check that. We might be able to make ink there cheaper, but I don't remember him having an ink uh, station. Uh, a chem station. We'll go check that anyways. We have Lady Kill over there, and then there's someone to sell to the trader. Put that away. We don't spend it all in one place. Okay, so we're going to go for I generic, and we're going to go for sterile bandages. The more we can heal right now, the better. Nyx Motels. This is infested. Infested is taking a chance, but let's try it. I've got a bit of a problem. I had a good it's going to be difficult. Uh, we might actually die because good Infested fun. has a lot of zombies, but the Infested cash at the end, that is definitely super worth it. Oh, I didn't sell the stuff to her. Boom. I guess we have enough coin now. We can get another XP elixir, but I think... If we can buy a recipe or two of here that we really need right now, that'd be awesome. Steel pickaxe, perhaps. Now, it doesn't really seem like she has anything we really, 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 really need right now. We could buy more explosives. So when she resets, we're going to lose that. But I want to save some cash as well. Perhaps buy some coffee. Thanks for the business. Just now, later, we need something that has a lot of cash. And because I just keep buying explosives, we don't have any cash on us. So we'll put that away. We have to eat and drink before we go. And then I'm going to put this away as well. I actually completely forgot about the stuff on my mini bike. Imagine dying with that. Duke's tokens. Oh, we have some over there as well. Did we have on the bike or was that what was on me just now? If I just forgot to break them or drop them. Okay, let's go. Hopefully Razor is going to give us a, a good quest close by. But the nice thing is you can accept the quest and cancel it. Accept, cancel, accept, cancel. Until it gives you one that's closer by. Because sometimes the, these traders send you like 5 kilometers just for one POI. Although the nice thing is, because there's only a 4x4k map, there's no chance of being like 5-6 kilometers away. These recordings on Darkness Falls are way harder than Ravenhurst. Ravenhurst, sure, it's still dangerous to be out at night. But with this being able to like one-shot kill us, <laughs> I have to be so much more careful. And also, basically, I spent the night just going and mining and stuff. Okay, so workbench, workbench, workbench. 
If there's actual working chem station here, that'd be amazing. That would solve so many of our issues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We also... Empty working sink. It says working. So left click, there's water. I was carrying this around with me to fill it up, and I almost forgot about it. But I did spend a point, if I'm not mistaken, in that. So I can make my own working sink. Working oven. See, this is why... Uh, uh, this is one perk of moving here. I'd literally only need the chem station, and then we have all the workbenches of here. That's amazing. I want to see if these are also fully grown. It's a shame we don't have... Uh, no, 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 that was a waste. It's a shame we don't have a, a hoe on us, but at least the seeds stay. So I can harvest all these plants of here. I should probably see if I can't plant some blueberries. Although, do we have the recipe for it? That's a problem. If I can plant only blueberries of here, wait for it to grow, just come back. We have all the blueberries we need, because we do definitely have all the tomatoes we need. You do definitely get more with the a, with a iron hoe. But now my question is, do you actually... Yeah, can you do it from the start, or do you actually have to have uh, the skill for it to be able to do that? Metal, no chem station, damn it. It doesn't seem to have a chem station, unfortunately. So basically, that's the only workbench we really, really need right now. If I had that, we would be set. Okay, so... Um, we already had it yours in at the scout at the old place. Here, the outpost. Where is this? Ooh, that's going to be in the snow. Do I want to do that? But is that the snow? Let's go check that out. Uh, that might not be the snow. I need to uh, do both. If that is a dangerous area, we just we can always just cancel and come back. Because I'm actually um, doubting whether there is actually a snow biome or not. I want to jump the stuff on my vehicle. I'm going to be so careful because at the moment I'm too slow... He looks also a little bit mad, so he's a little bit faster than his friends. I just want to quickly jump off and I want to put some stuff on the vehicle so I don't have to worry about being encumbered when I have to run. Here you go. Oh, is this a working... Are you kidding me? This is the first time this has ever happened to me. We just need a vehicle repair kit and we can get ourselves a motorcycle. I'm getting chills right now. Repair... No. Uh, spell it right, John. Repair... Vehicle repair kit, this is what we need. I think we have this. If I can repair this motorcycle over here, we actually have a motorcycle. Damn. Okay, let me just do this. Moto. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm really hoping that actually works out. I've never, ever, ever, in all my time of playing the new Darkest Falls, seen a working motorcycle before. I've seen a working mini bike late game where I already have like buggies and stuff. That's really going to help us out a lot right now. Probably just loot this as well. Do you have any dogs and vultures and stuff? If we can get crowbars from this, then why not? Nice, a sledgehammer. Although I don't think in my current series that's really going to help us right now. If I can drive over chickens, it'll save us time, but they're so fast, they actually dodge me. Oh, there's a police vehicle. Wrenchy, wrenchy, topsy. Don't get stuck. Wrenching time. I think there's another cop car at the back. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't push my luck right now. If we can just quickly really open trade routes, we don't even have to do Razor's Quest right now. As long as we can quickly go back and get that uh, repair kit, get ourselves a motorcycle. I think we have enough fuel, right? We can always just buy a little bit more from the trader if we can. But yeah, I'm really hoping this works out right now. If I can drive over animals, we can basically just skin them. It does damage the vehicle slightly, but in Darkest Falls, your vehicle doesn't break as easily as it does in, say, vanilla. No, this is really bad. I didn't pay attention to my vehicle. No, 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 no. We don't have a Mega Crush, we have nothing. I mean, we can keep running just to open trade routes and stuff here, but I wonder if that's going to be worth it now. I think we definitely do have more fuel at the base. I don't have a wrench with me right now to actually wrench stuff for more fuel. 
This is... I'm actually getting chills right now. That's really, really, really bad for me. Hello. Wanna skin this wolf? Free meat, man. Free meat. At least now we have the gun on us. We have this gun. We have a lot of rounds for it. So we shouldn't at least die instantly. But I mean, if I die and I lose this. I think if I see I'm going to die, I'm just going to try and quickly put down my mini bike. So I don't lose my mini bike. There's a fuel station over there. So we might be able to get some gas out of the... Yeah, let's try this over here. There might be some fuel inside the tanks over here, hopefully. Oh no, I heard that, I heard that. No, 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 no. Damn it. He's gonna say you're still, oh, still chasing me. No. Damn. As I was trying to lockpick that police vehicle, I heard the woo. So I was like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. And then, yep, there are some tough ones following us. Need fuel, please. I just want to be able to drive away slightly. Is she chill? She's still chasing us. Oh yeah, that's a thing. In Darkness Falls, you can set off alarms by looting vehicles. I forgot about that. And if you set off three vehicles within a certain time period, um, there's actually screamers coming for you. That's a tough zombie over there, so you have to be careful. Like a perhaps sniper, but I'll have to shoot like crazy to kill both of them. There's some kind of vomiter over here as well. It's a shame we don't have a, uh, any stamina right now to... Okay, cop, bye-bye. He's gonna cause an explosion. Pull up, climb on, move, 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 seven seconds. Okay, yeah, uh, we won't be able to open trade routes now. <laughs> let's just first go to the base, drop everything off, and then we can do that next time. Okay, I need to stop taking unnecessary chances. That just now could have easily killed me. Just because I wanted some fuel and just... Let, yeah, we, we, I know we're encumbered, I know we don't have fuel, but let's just try it. Boom, dead. Oh no, I lost everything. <laughs> That's basically me in a nutshell. Okay, so yeah, we have to go get ourselves some fuel. If we can make that vehicle repair kit and get the motorcycle. It's already so much faster than a minibike. I think I'm actually just going to call cool episode here. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the base and drop everything off. If there's enough time, I'll start the next episode. But if it's all, almost like night time, I think I'll just go and do a little bit of mining. And then I'll catch you guys back in the morning. This series is going to be a very slow series because at night for now, I'm just mining. I'm not taking any chances. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminase that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.